The most important part of professionalism in communication takes place at the interaction between the customer and the technician. Now the A-plus goes into a great deal on all this interaction and there are very important issues, but I don't really like the way that A-plus organizes this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to pretend to be the customer and I'm going to have Ford be the technician and we're going to go through my six-step process. That six-step process is number one, setting the stage, number two, being attentive, number three, being polite, number four, handling problems, number five, don't snoop, and number six, finish the job. Let's start with number one, setting the stage. Hi, are you Mike Myers? Yeah, I am. Hi, I'm Ford the Tech. Hey, Ford. How you doing? Good, good. good. I see you're right on time. Yeah, thanks. I was wondering if now is a good time to get started working on your computer problem. Uh, let me close a couple of documents and I'll be ready to go. All right. Ford did a great job setting the stage by creating that initial environment, by being on time, and by asking permission to start, he's created that big first level of professionalism that really makes the job easier. So let's move on to number two, and that is be attentive. So what seems to be the problem? Well, it's weird. No matter what I try to save in, if I'm saving locally, it's okay. But if I try saving to the network drive, I get keep getting this error that says, J drive not found? I didn't even know I had a J drive on this computer. How long have you been having this problem? Uh, it started this morning, actually, when mm. I came in. Did you change anything on your computer recently? Nope, haven't touched a thing. Mm. But it's only when you're saving to your network drive, not local drives. No, I can save anything locally. I don't seem to have any problem. What's really weird, though, is that, you know, because sometimes I'll save to thumb drives. So is the thumb drive local also? Yes, that would be considered local. All right, and if I burn it onto a CD, that's also local? That's also local. Okay, so, all right, so it's just, yeah, I guess you're right. It's just that network drive thing. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at your network drive. Oh. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. How long is this going to take? Uh, this will just take a few minutes. We should be out of here pretty quick. All right, are we talking like 30 minutes or five minutes? Probably five to ten minutes. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I can sit around and watch all this? Oh, absolutely. Do you mind if I get started? No, go right ahead. All right. Hmm. All right, hang on, Ford. That was absolutely perfect. Now, what Ford's done at this point is he's gone ahead, he's been very attentive to my issues, he's let me talk. Now we're really starting to get in the meat of things. Now the big challenge for Ford, believe it or not, is going to be how to be polite. All right, well, it looks like we just need to map your network drive. Why, my lord, how do you like my snappy English chapeau? I like it very much. Why, thank you very much. All right, well, as I was saying, I think we just have to map your network drive, and I know that's a confusing term. What it means is that your computer has sort of forgotten where the network drive is, so I'm just going to sort of reconnect the hose back together and remind it how to get to that network drive. Is that that J thing that That's I was that saying? J drive. The J drive is your network drive. Ah, okay, because I didn't even know we went past the letter C. It can. It can go all the way up to Z. <laughs> okay. Well, fantastic then. All right. So, what we've done now is that he, he had a lot of opportunities to be impolite to me. Obviously, as a user, I'm unfamiliar with what network drives are, and I asked some dumb questions, but he went ahead and handled the problem beautifully. The next step isn't so easy. Now we're going to start talking about handling problems, and in this case, he's having a little trouble connecting to the network drive. Hmm. This does seem to be a little bit trickier than I thought it was. So, I don't understand. Ah, uh, well, I'm just having a little bit of trouble. See, I always would click right there. Ah, uh, well, you know, another thing we might try, since you seem to be having an issue with I gotta with this get to work. Drive. No offense here, but I mean, you know, I, you know what always blows me away with you IT guys? Because I'm supposed to get this report done down to accounting in like 10 minutes, and you, you said it was only going to take a few minutes. I'm, it should well. still take just a few minutes. I was wondering if you've uh, considered using an external drive instead of a network drive. I know many of your coworkers do that same thing. Yeah, I see a lot of the other guys doing that in the office, and I don't trust that. In fact, my wife lost our entire wedding photographs because of those stupid external drives. I have a problem with it, and I don't want to do it. All right, I was just uh, offering that as a s suggestion. Okay, it's uh, just a formality, so we don't need to use to do that. All right, okay. Ford, you did another great job. And this time, we started to see where the customer was getting a little bit angry. And Ford took good care of the situation. He wasn't judgmental. He didn't get involved. He didn't let an argument start. He did a perfect job. So now we're going to come down to a very, very important one, and that's don't snoop. Oh, I see you've got some personal files there. Yeah. Do you mind moving those for yeah, me? Yeah, sorry about that. 
The big issue when it comes to personal information is that basically it boils down to this. If it isn't a felony, you didn't see it. So if uh, the customer had up some list for people to be fired or uh, maybe uh, PG rated pictures of his significant other, we don't know what it is. But the bottom line is it's not a felony and it's none of Ford's business. So he's done a good job. He's got the fix going. So now it's time to go ahead and finish the job. <clears throat> All right, is it okay if I call you back later on to make sure that everything's still working? Call me, oh, well, yeah. To contact that, you at a later date. That'd be great, wow, that's really nice, you know? Oh, actually, hold on one second. I'm getting a call from my boss. I think it could be an emergency, do you mind? Sure, no Excuse problem me. at all. Thank you for your patience. No problem. <clears throat> all right, uh, now that we're all wrapped up, does it seem to be working okay? Everything seems to be working perfectly. All and right. I get to call you back in a few days too, huh? Great, yeah, right. I'll call you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and document a few things for my boss just to make sure that we know what the problem was and that we know that it was solved. Is that okay? Absolutely. Take your time. Right. And that, my friends, is a really great demonstration of both professionalism and communication within the workspace. Even though the a has different objectives, go ahead and try learning these using my six steps. Remember, set the stage, be attentive, be polite, handle problems, don't snoop and finish the job.